Hello everyone, my name is Miriam and I'm here again to talk about the last module. Uh, so I'm just going to start with the first question. Uh, what connection did I make from Dali um, of his work uh, to creativity and innovation? I want to talk about two points that I think are very important from his work. Uh, first uh, is that he was first part of the creation of the Surrealism movement, uh, which is like a revolution in itself. So he was part of that, which is creative and innovative. Uh, he disrupted and completely changed art around the world. So he not only had an idea, but also the innovation to honestly change the world with his art. Additionally, I want to talk about how his art was also a vector for creativity and just um, ideas. Uh, for example, in this painting, The Face of War, uh, he represents the ugliness of World War II and the Spanish Civil War. So through his art, he was communicating ideas uh, such as oppression, uh, and violence. So I think these two are two of his most uh, greatest achievements and how they connect with creativity and innovation. So how did this um, help me understand these concepts? Uh, basically, I think I made a connection with art being not only creative, but a vector to communicate ideas and make changes in the world. Uh, for example, I have here uh, three examples of art, street art, that represent oppression and that are communicating ideas without speaking. Uh, I think, uh, not only it not only made me want to think in this abstract way but it also made me recognize how creativity and innovation are within art in a different way that i even thought of so as we spoke before uh creativity and innovation connect to entrepreneurship just because creativity is the is an idea and then innovation is putting that idea into a tangible uh, object or a tangible good that people can access. Um, for this, I selected an example of Scrub Daddy just because I think it sums up the idea and in innovation. Uh, although they didn't have a very, very new idea because it's a sponge, they had the idea to create a different shape that would help clean uh, the utensils better, such as like the smile is a spoon uh, cleaner, and then it's the texture uh, different if it's soft or firm in water, uh, depending on the temperature. I just thought this was a good example of how this module that focuses on art um, can be applied into like a product. So as I spoke before, this module made me realize that art um, is not only creativity and um, like pictures, is a way of communicating ideas to a broad audience through visuals, audio, etc. The process of creativity and innovation is merely that, is creating an idea and just expanding it for people to have access to it. So I just came to the realization that art um, makes an idea tangible and makes it more accessible for people to grasp and understand, such as this picture. Uh, it just 
I think this module furthered my view on creativity and how it's present everywhere and how the concept is not only what we spoke in the first modules, but it's deeper than that. And for the last two examples of organizations within Tampa Bay and St. Pete area that have demonstrated creativity and innovation, I want to talk about two. The first is Sleep of Tampa Bay, which is an organization that helps people access grants, access financial aid. They provide counseling for people. And in this way, they're lowering the illiteracy rate. They're making it more accessible for people to access education and spreading awareness of how difficult it is for some people to access education. The second is I support girls. This organization helps people, menstruating people, uh, by providing menstrual products and also bras and necessary tools, uh, necessary products such as those. Uh, these two organizations use the help of volunteers. Uh, so it's very different from uh, being a uh, a business but in this way I think these two organizations do have creativity and innovation not only helping people access these things but also spreading awareness of the issue of people not being able to access either education or necessary products for everyday life so I think these two organizations are pretty good uh, and this is the end of my video. Thank you.